Well, hello and welcome to Understand Men Now. I'm Jonathan Assay of JonathanAssay.com and I'm so excited to be shooting this short video for you today. Our topic, this gains men's respect 99% of the time when you do this. <laughs> um, uh, really quickly, if you're new to my YouTube channel, please hit the subscribe button, hit the bell so you can be notified of new content. And if you like this video, please hit the like button at the end. I'd be truly grateful. Okay, we're gonna talk about gaining a man's respect. And I think this is, on some level, this might seem obvious, but I gotta tell you, for uh, from where I sit as a dating and relationship coach uh, for women, I just, I just don't see this very frequently. So I want to lean into this because I think this is an important topic. And that is this misconception, first and foremost, that if you're vulnerable, authentic, and transparent with a man, if you're vulnerable, authentic, and transparent with a man, that he will run away. There's this fear that when we open up and are vulnerable, authentic, transparent. What I mean is even when we share our insecurities with someone, they're going to run away. Now, it's one of the reasons why when I wrote my book, What the Heck is Self-Love Anyway? One of the chapters in the book is talking about speaking your truth, speaking your truth. And why this is so critically important is our truth is how we feel about things. It's not necessarily the truth. It's just how we might feel about something, including the relationship or at facets within the relationship. And so when we lean into speaking our truth, we're being, um, we're being in integrity with ourselves, being in integrity with ourselves. I didn't grab the book. I typically have this handy. But if you're not familiar with the book called The Four Agreements, The Four Agreements, one of the agreements is to be in integrity with yourself, to being your best, to always being true to oneself. By the way, if you're interested in any of the books I recommend, check out the link below to Jonathan Recommend Books. And my book is called What the Heck is Self-Love? And it's all in the description. And I want to share with you in a few minutes what really gains a man's respect 99% of the time, especially when you're dealing with an emotional grown-up man, an emotional grown-up. Now, this is critically important because the vast percentage of humans are emotionally stifled. They're emotionally immature because they haven't learned the skills to actually lean into their own sovereignty, their own self-worth, their own self-love. It's because the reality is, is the vast majority of the population is riddled with this fear of I'm not good enough, I'm not lovable, and I'm not likable men and women alike. So that fear of not speaking your truth is a very common one. And I'm also here to say that if you want to shift the perspective in your relationship, then it's incumbent upon you to speak your truth. And I'm about to share this aspect that's going to gain man's respect very quickly in a second. Because there's another chapter in my book called If It's Sincere and From the Heart, you can never say the wrong thing to the right person. If it's sincere and from the heart, you can never say the wrong thing to the right person. So my point is, if you being vulnerable, you know, I'm looking at my shirt, it looks way too tight. I put on weight since this pandemic and I've got to go back and really drop another five or 10 pounds. I'm so, ah, anyway, I'm feeling a little, um, see, I was being vulnerable right there. I was literally stopped in the middle of this video to be vulnerable. And that's not a sign of weakness. That's not a sign of my insecurity. Uh, well, sure, there's an element of feeling insecure. I'll be rejected if I'm fat, right? That's that inner voice. But it's also leaning in. It, it takes a level of, I like what Brene Brown says, it takes a level of bravery and courage to be vulnerable. Do me a favor, check out Brene Brown's work. Um, on, wait, do I have that book handy? No, I don't. <laughs> um, check out Brene Brown's work on vulnerability. And I just shared an example of that with you right now. Because if you really want to shift the perspective, if you want to shift your relationship, then it's incumbent upon you to do the following if you want to gain someone's respect. Vulnerability, authenticity, transparency. But more so in relationship is establishing your standard. What is your standard? What it is that you want when you're exploring this time together? What do you really want? 
And I'm here to say that most women, and sometimes I yell, I'm yelling because because imagine a child is about to touch their hand in fire, right? They're, they're, they're about to burn themselves. I'm yelling because I just want to wake things up, shake things up. And one of the things I'd like to encourage you to do is read this book called Eight Dates by Dr. John and Julie Gottman. Eight Dates by Dr. John and Julie Gottman. The link below to Jonathan Recommend Books lists all my books that I recommend. Why this is so important is because it's going to help you establish the standard of what it is you want in relationship. Ladies, this, this haphazard way of dating is of just, let's just have fun. Let's just have fun. It's all about having fun. Let's just have a lot of fun. And then what happens later is you get attached to someone who's not compatible with you or doesn't want the same things with you. Same, doesn't have the shared vision of a relationship with you. So I want to incumbent be I want to encourage you to establish what it is you want in relationship and express it very early on because when you're vulnerable, authentic and transparent, only the wrong guy is going to run away. Now, if a man isn't ready for commitment, you're not saying I want commitment today. You're saying this is why I'm exploring a relationship with you. I'm will, I, I would like everyone to say this on the next time you're talking to a brand new guy. Write down the words, would you be interested in exploring a relationship with me? Not, not the first or second you know, date, but at some point, because that takes a whole different shift of perspective and only a man who, will, who likes you and respects you will lean into that conversation. You don't need to lean back and just be all in your feminine. It's, I mean, I'm, I'm encouraging everyone to be kind, compassionate, nice. That's not masculine or feminine. That's just being a good human being. And I want to encourage you all to do that. But I want you to really lean, because we can call the following masculine. When you set your standard right off the bat, we can call that masculine. But guess what? We're gonna get, you're going to gain a man's respect if he genuinely likes you. And he's an emotional grown-up at the same time. Is this sinking in? I hope it is. I'm only yelling because I want to make sure it sinks in. <laughs> All right. Thanks for allowing me to share this with you. I'm going to wrap up this video as I always do. First off, giving myself a big, gigantic Jonathan Bear hug of self-love. I'm going to reach into the camera and give you a hug of love if that's okay. I'm going to ask you to turn to someone or a pet or a teddy bear. Or oh, we'll get salty this time. We'll grab salty this time. Hey. Give it a hug of love because hugs are a great source of love and we can all use more love in our lives. Thanks a bunch. Bye-bye now.